If you look around the room, look at all the demographics, look at the gender, the colors, the ages, um, that is who we are. We can have more of these events, yeah. right? You know, and just to, to, to have an open political discussion about issues. You know, this is this is what the college campus is for. And not sort of debate issues, but just to have you know dialogue. Uh, you know, bring Democrats, Republicans, uh, you know, liberals, conservatives, and and you know, students, and just have these discussions about about these issues. And I remember there was a quote in my mother's book. She said, "When the gate closed, I realized we had lost something very precious: our freedom." Congresswoman. Matsui was born in an internment camp. Her husband, Congressman Matsui, arrived when he was five years old. Can you imagine that? I would say even though I was born in an internment camp and was three months old when they carried me out, and even though my parents felt they didn't want to burden me, I, that's part of my history. So the great thing about Sac State is in the, it really is in the heart of Sacramento. Yeah. And uh, a lot of different people come here, students, community leaders. And I think it's important to demonstrate that elected officials feel very strongly that it's important to play fair. I think it's crucial that we come together and that we realize that we're a Hornet family. Yes, we're United States, and I like the United States, and I like to be united as a part of the United States. But I'm more, to me, personally, it's more important to be a Hornet family. Because I remember my father saying something about, one of the times he talked about it, which was rare, but he said it was a failure of elected officials, a failure of politi political leadership, and that's why the internment camps happened. Nobody said anything. You can't, you know, you've got to say something. Well, when I saw in the morning news that statement made by the mayor of Roanoke, um, I just got so angry. Yeah. The mayor of Roanoke, Virginia, outrageously pointed to the internment of Japanese Americans as a model for guarding against current international threats. I felt I had to speak out about that. Sometimes you have to speak out. And I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. Yeah, that's right. And like this. <laughs>